Yeah. Everyone's waited long enough. And uh, this was a time by which the show should have been over. But of course, uh, as we expected in some ways, the judging did take longer than normal. And then of course the judges huddle after the, after the program was, uh, there was a lot of debate and excitement because there were so many, many good entries, right? So, uh, so that took a while. It took more than an hour to debate the results. So, uh, so that's why we are uh, delayed in this, in this show. And I'm sure a lot of you are quite frustrated also to wait in the afternoon for the judging session to begin. Uh, so anyway, it's all done now and we will announce the results of both the RYSI and the rest final results, which, uh, uh, which have also been done over the last few days, uh, last couple of weeks, right? So uh, hello and welcome to the presentation ceremony, which is also happening from our homes. Usually we do it on the lovely grounds of Panchavati. Uh, my name is Procheta Malik, one of the trustees of ISPF and uh, the principal scientist at ISPF. Uh, we've been organizing Raman Awards now for the last four years with the blessings of the Raman Research Institute Trust, which is uh, of course a trust that was founded by Sir C.V. Raman uh, during his lifetime. and. Uh, it's the trust that he willed a lot of his personal properties to. Uh, so the so our where we are based in Panchavati, uh, uh, which is Sir C. V. Raman's old home in Maleshwaram in Bangalore, that is managed by the trust. The Raman Research Institute, of course, was founded by Sir C. V. Raman as well. He has a he had a, a personal estate in Kengeri in Bangalore, which is also managed by the trust. The trust does a lot of outreach work in science, and this is one of the things we've partnered with them over the last four years to conduct these awards. And they of course happen, uh, the finals happen there where all of you would have in a typical year come there and enjoyed the day out at the, at the property. But here we are doing it in this kind of system today. So welcome, uh, I hope all of you had a fun time. It's been a very, very long day and uh, uh, good to see that there's so many, almost 200 of you here on this call. It's an absolute uh, pleasure to have you here. So what I'll briefly do is I'll, uh, because not everyone may have met all the judges. So what I'll briefly do is I'll, I'll uh, just go through who was in which room and tell you a little bit about them. And then two or three of them, I've asked them to speak for a minute or two. So we'll go into that. And then we'll announce the winners of the, first we'll announce the winners of the Raman Experience of Science Teacher Award, the REST Award. So there are three, awardees there, plus a couple of uh, ones who get a certificate of merit. And then of course the nine awardees for the finals that happened today, okay? So I may not have the names of the innovations for each one that were made for, uh, for all of you. Maybe we can have the child uh, briefly come on and say or show what they made if they're present on the call, right? So that would be uh, very nice to see. Um, does anyone know if, uh, it's unlikely, but if Dominique is here, if someone could let me know at some point, that would be good. Um, okay, so just to tell you briefly, those who were in breakout room one, which was the one that was uh, managed by, who is it? I have so many spreadsheets here open that I have to. Room one, which was with Divyashri. So Divyashri's breakout room had two judges who joined you. Okay, so both uh, both astronomers, uh, uh, Dr. Dwarkanath KS is a faculty at the Raman Research Institute and his main area of work has been extra galactic astronomy using techniques of radio astronomy. And uh, Ashok Pati is again retired faculty from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, specialized in astrophysics of galaxies and population modeling. Uh, had a lot of ex expertise in the areas of instrumentation and computing, and has also had a major role in designing some amazing instruments that are used today, like ground-based telescope. Uh, there are a few couple of them in Kavlu, like the JCB telescope at the Venubapu Observatory in Kavlu, as well as a space telescope, the UV imaging telescope, which is on board the AstroSat satellite. So um, uh, Dr. Pati has been uh, very involved with all these astronomy uh, uh, experiments over, over many decades. And now he's retired and helping us out in things like this. 
uh, in breakout room two, which was by um, where we had Rachita and the judges were Professor Jayant Murthy and Swati Sarkar. So Jayant has been doing this every year. He's not missed a single year of the RYSI awards. He's of course also a resident of Maleshwaram. So he just walks across and he's been very active uh, supporting us. And of course, uh, as a senior faculty at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics has worked at, at the Goddard Space Flight Center, NASA. So he's an actual space scientist and a huge uh, broad interest in all uh, features of astronomy. He's a very active person on social media, always posting on Facebook about social, environmental, political, as well as science related stuff. So definitely a very uh, great honor to have him with us here every year. And also in the same breakout room, we had Swati. Swati runs the math space at the Azim Premji University. So she does a lot of maths. She's a maths teacher. She does a lot of maths curriculum building for different states uh, all over India. Uh, and she's an expert on creating hands-on science activities for children and teachers and heavily involved in enhancing curriculum in various state and national syllabi, right? So Swati is into maths and of course has a lot of interest in any kind of hands-on activity. So it was a great pleasure to have her here uh, this year. In the next breakout room we had, which was managed by uh, Shilpa, we had Dr. Shoboshachi Chatterjee as well as Divya Belur. Shoboshachi is again a retired faculty from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. Uh, great breadth and depth in various branches of physics, excellent in hands-on experiments, fluent in mathematics. He's also written books. He's, he's co-authored a biography on uh, Professor K.S. Krishnan, who was the gentleman, of course, with C.V. Raman, who discovered the Raman effect, right? So, uh, if, and if you want to go out and read that book, it's a great uh, description of history of Indian science, as well as uh, one of a, uh, you know, uh, very famous, but probably not outside of scientific circles, gentleman who founded the National Physical Laboratory, was a student of Raman before that, and uh, of course had a huge career of science. So. K.S. Krishnan, uh, the biography was co-authored by uh, Shoboshachi and he's deeply involved in things like the People Science Network and a lot of science popularization and outreach activities, even in his retirement. So it was a great pleasure having him here as well. Again, a local of North Bangalore and uh, Panchwati would have been very close to him uh, had, he, had we had it there as usual. In breakout room four, uh, we had, uh, managed by Vindhya and the judges were uh, uh, DCV Malik and Shailaja Sharma uh, talking about the uh, book on K.S. Krishnan. It's DCV Malik who is the other author with Shobhashachi who wrote that book. And he's of course, again, retired faculty, again from Indian Institute of Astrophysics. His main area of interest was work on interstellar matter, planetary nebulae, uh, and has, does a lot of work on the history of science in his retirement as well, writes books, is very involved with uh, translation work into Bengali for various science activities and uh, has, a, again, a very broad interest in both the history of science as well as in astronomy. Uh, Shailaja, who was, uh, who study, uh, who uh, is faculty at the National Institute of Advanced Studies, NIAS, uh, and also teaches uh, part-time maths and statistics at Malia Aditi International School. So she's one of the two teachers we have here on this, uh, on the on the judging board today. And uh, she's also worked as a, a statistician and consultant at various uh, development agencies like the World Bank, UN and so on, and has a deep interest in the Indic traditions of mathematics. So she's done a lot of uh, stuff on maths and that's what she teaches at uh, Malia Aditi School in Bangalore. In breakout room five, we had uh, Manikandan who was in charge and uh, Dr. Rajguru and Moshmi Dash, both professors at Indian Institute of Astrophysics, both astronomers. Uh, Rajguru's has main research interests include solar interior and helioseismology. So he studies the sun 
like me, I, I also did my PhD on solar physics. So Rajguru and I have a bit of a bond there. And he plays a major role in science outreach in IIA and elsewhere, bringing astronomy to young and uh, anyone who's interested in science. Rajguru was accompanied by uh, Moshumi. And Moshumi is uh, also faculty at Indian Institute of Astrophysics. Uh, her focus is on galactic and extragalactic astronomy and give, gives numerous public outreach talks around the world to professional and budding astronomers going, you know, even to remote areas all over India and elsewhere to give talks to children, to schools, to uh, college faculty and so on, trying to popularize astronomy over and above all the research that she has to do uh, at the Institute. Uh, the, the fifth breakout room had, uh, uh, sorry, I've already talked about the fifth. The last breakout room had um, three judges because we also had a group of children who came from all three categories. So in that sense, it was a tough, and that's the one where the judging went on for the longest. Rajesh was in that group. We had uh, three dynamic gentlemen in that group. Uh, Pratip Malik is faculty at the School of Arts and Sciences in the, or, uh, at the Azim Premji University. His extensive experience in the field of optical engineering with uh, firms such as Pacific Biosciences and KLA Tencore in the US and uh, has been developing the undergraduate program at the Azim Premji University for the last four years. We had our first year uh, uh, judge here who kindly agreed to join us tonight uh, Raghunandan Nair from the Oxford University Press. He's the editorial manager of science and computer science at Oxford University Press. A lot of our publicity this year for enrolling in the Raman Awards came from OUP, where they talked about us and the Raman Awards in the uh, two schools where they, uh, you know, supply books and supply curriculum and so on. So, uh, so we're very lucky to have uh, Raghu here with us today to do a lot of the judging work. And uh, he has over 18 years of experience in commissioning, developing, editing science and computer science courses, as well as textbooks and print and digital support for students and teachers. So thanks a lot, uh, Raghunandan, for being here with us uh, today. Uh, Shekhar, of course, is a teacher at the Valley School. He's a senior science teacher at the Valley School, which is a Krishnamurti Foundation school based here in Bangalore. Uh, He's very, very vast experience with and passionate about making hands-on tools and learning modules for kids. During the pandemic, he had this, he has this wonderful, uh, created this wonderful YouTube channel called The Most Boring Classrooms. You should have a look at it, which it's not boring at all, but he's named it that way. And uh, it shows all kinds of uh, uh, modules in physics with hands-on experiments. And then he talks about the concepts and all that as well. So it's uh, something that you should look into and this all he does in his spare time while also being a very busy teacher at the school and resident uh, at the school. I think I've missed a breakout group. So I'll just, uh, have I missed anyone? Yeah, so I talked about Shubhosh as you forget to talk about Divya. Divya is also faculty at Azim Premji University. She was in one of the breakout rooms with Shubhosh doing the uh, judging there. And uh, her main interests of area, so she's a biologist, and her main interests of area include predator-prey interactions, mimicry, and she also does a lot of research in alternative teaching styles and education, undergraduate education and higher education. So uh, it was, this, this, I think, our second or third time that Divya has joined us for this event, and we are very fortunate to have uh, all these judges with us here today, and uh, 13 of them uh, managing six breakout rooms, and 17 or 18 children in each group, right? So it's a great honor to have them here. Uh, if we can have a few words from uh, Professor Jayant Murthy, is he here? Thanks to Pracheta for organizing this. This has uh, been an unusual year, of course, and uh, doing this online, it's got its advantages and disadvantages, of course. It's made it easier for many people to, to travel or, or not to travel. So perhaps it has increased participation. And of course, it's made it uh, more challenging to, uh, to judge in that we don't get to talk to all the students uh, and see what they're doing. 
But nevertheless, it's been a great experience. The students have put on a wonderful show. And, uh, and I look forward to, to participating in this in uh, future years as well. Thanks a lot, Jayant. Thanks for those always those very kind and encouraging words, both to us as well as the children who participate. And this has been an awkward year, there's no doubt. Um, Swati, are you here? Swati Sarkar? So just a few Hi. words, if you can say Swati, yeah. First of all, it's amazing what you guys pulled off in, you know, online. Uh, it was a new experience for us. And, uh, you know, I'm glad to be back uh, meeting all the fantastic word work that children do. And this is for the children, okay? You have more creativity than us, okay? And keep on engaging with that, solve problem, ask question, and don't worry too much if the adults get upset with your questions, okay? Your job right now is to learn and grow and be curious. So keep on experimenting, keep on asking questions, keep on searching for answers. Don't stop at asking questions, look for the answers. And uh, be great problem solvers. Great. Thank you, Swati. Thanks a lot. Raghu, are you here? Raghunandan Nair? Yeah, uh, I have unmuted myself. Uh, great, great, great. Yeah. Right. So, right. Uh, uh, you know, uh, this has been my first experience uh, with the Raman Awards, and I wasn't sure quite what to expect. Uh, but I must say it has been a great one. I have had a great uh, Sunday afternoon. And uh, to the participants, I must say that I'm delighted to see the enthusiasm shown by each one of you and the efforts you have undertaken for your active participation in this event. Uh, the creative abilities you have demonstrated and the way you have applied your minds to the task was quite impressive. Uh, my message to you would be to never lose your curiosity never stop asking questions and continue exploring this world of ours with your imaginative minds as you have done till now. I thank the Think Tank team and the Raman Awards team for this opportunity to experience young minds in action and uh, science in practice. Think Tank, uh, I believe, is doing a fantastic job on ensuring that children uh, right from primary school are oriented towards experiential learning uh, which plays a critical role in enhancing and deepening conceptual clarity. So my best wishes and good luck to all of you gathered here today. And I look forward to meeting you again next year. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, Pracheta. This was fantastic. This was wonderful. Yeah. This was a wonderful yeah. experience. Very honored to have you here and to uh, partner with OUP in reaching out to as many schools as possible as well. Um, Thanks a lot. Those are very nice and kind words from all three of you. And uh, sometimes I think we're used to speeches that go on for too long. I'm guilty of that. But all three of you were very to the point as well as uh, very powerful messages too. So, uh, so thanks so much. Uh, we'll go straight into uh, the announcing of the, uh, the Raman Experiential Science Teacher Awards. Those were conducted over two preliminary phases. Uh, where teachers were allowed to submit up to four entries. Uh, if usually the entire, all of the rest awards happens online and the awardees are inv invited to uh, Panchavati for the finals. This year, we got a few extra weeks to uh, announce the results slightly later, extend the deadlines and so on, and actually announce the results also at, uh, at the finals. So all the finalists have been invited to the meeting and I think most may be here. Uh, the ones who are here, I request that if your name is called out and that name happens to be here, Ashwin will, uh, my colleague will search for it. And if they're here, uh, he'll request you to, you know, at least show your face, turn on the camera and maybe people can virtually clap uh, from wherever they are, right? So uh, the rest awards this year had 18 finalists who had made very good preliminary entries over the last several months. And from that, we had to choose three, uh, three awardees, three people who get a cash prize. And 
but it was again, as usual, a pretty tough task. Again, got quite cluttered and competitive at the top. And uh, we had to have three who were given, who are being given certificates of merit, which will, I guess, just be a plaque that you have. There's uh, no cash award involved there, but at least uh, you get that because your entry was very nice. Uh, and there'll be three winners, one in each, uh, well, three awardees of which one is an overall winner from one of the categories and two runners up from the other two categories. For teachers, the categories are of course the three sciences, physics, chemistry, and biology. This year for the finals, we gave each category one topic to choose from. So uh, people who chose chemistry had to choose a topic in uh, uh, physical or chemical changes. People in uh, biology had to choose uh, uh, Plant, plant body parts and functions, and people in physics were given the topic of thermodynamics, okay? So this first special mention this time uh, goes to an activity called Transpiration in Plants by Dimple Bhateja. Dimple Bhateja, is she there? Thank you so much, thank you so much. Actually, uh, I can't believe this. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Dimple. I have no words. Thank yes, you. That's a certificate of merit to Dimple for that. Thank you. The second certificate of merit goes to Rajender Dutt Parashar. Uh, he did a, a, a activity on thermodynamics, a beautiful one where he had two fans and different uh, heat, uh, how heat dissipates differently from different materials. Uh, so are you here, sir, at all? Thank you, sir. Hello. Good evening. It was lovely to see your model. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. I thanks uh, Raman team for uh, giving me such an opportunity to showcase my activity on this prestigious uh, 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 this uh, platform. Uh, thanks a lot, sir. My very pleasure. Much. Thank you. We hope you keep participating. Of yeah. course, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. The third special mention is was a very nice again a physics activity on thermodynamics by uh, Manmohan. Thank to uh, Team Raman Awards, Raman Research Institute Trust, ISPF Think Tech for organizing uh, this wonderful uh, activity in this hard and challenging time of COVID-19 through online mode and in such a very uh, much organized manner. And I would like to thank the uh, judges and all directly and indirectly involved in this event. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you for being such a active participant and more importantly, such an enthusiastic and great teacher to your students with your wonderful activities, which we see so many videos of, which you share with us to your classroom with your children. So you. I guess uh, you're continuing to do that now through an online mode and hopefully you get to meet your children soon as well. Thank you. Sir. So the first uh, runner up is uh, for, for chemistry. It's for an activity called the soil lamp and it's Mina Deorukkar. Meena has been with us in the past as well, uh, where she's been an awardee in the past, maybe I think two years back, and uh, a chemistry teacher in Mumbai. And this time she made a wonderful experiment where she used soil in two different pots and created an electrolytic cell uh, that way. Uh, so that was uh, very, very nice to see. And she could change the water levels and different uh, sol uh, different components in the soil, et cetera, to change uh, potential brightness of the LED or the conductivity of that electrolyte. So I guess she's uh, she's here. So congratulations, but she couldn't uh, turn Actually, out couldn't. Uh, issue yeah. with the audio and so on. So that's fine. It's just, that's the runner up for chemistry. The second runner up is a runner up for physics. And uh, that goes for a, a, a thermocar made by Kamini Pundir. So Kamini made a steam powered car. It's almost like seeing a steam engine powering a car. The video was fascinating. It was like a professionally shot making video of where she's making, you know, uh, and using totally household materials. She makes this wonderful car with a brilliant turbine uh, and an aluminum can, of course, with heated candle and the car moves forward. So it was a very interesting activity to see. So congratulations, ma'am. And we'll be mailing your check soon. And the overall winner for the REST award for uh, 2020 uh, happens to be in biology this year, which is uh, uh, 
very always good to see good hands-on biology activities because they tend to be the rarest and uh, therefore when they come they're really uh, the good ones come they can be quite spectacular and this one was by uh, Jyoti Parukh are you here sir plant body parts and yes, function here. making model plant root stem and leaf for transportation of water thanks a lot i'm so happy i'm doing youtube last four months actively and i hope that i will do more things i have no idea that i will be chosen for final as finalist and after becoming finalist i was quite confused how to do something about plant parts which is active so i my wife given me this idea of tissue paper and i used it please see that video uh, thanks a lot i am very and this yeah. is first time i am joining you i am sure i will join again yeah thanks a lot sir it was a honor having you part of the participants and of course as a finalist and the overall winner as well congratulations to uh, all the six of you who've been uh, mentioned here and also equally to the other 12 finalists who are uh, hopefully all of you are on the call or most of you at least and uh, all your entries were very very uh, very good and we are it's a pleasure to have you uh, do this every year of course the teacher's job doesn't end with doing all this but with actually going out to your children and uh, making hands on science uh, and accessible to kids from all over the country wherever you might be whatever your other challenges are children as long as they engage with science then i think your job is complete uh, regardless of how it happens right so thanks again to all the teachers we'll move on to the student results give me a second while i open for myself that sheet we'll start with the junior award this year the juniors were given a set of three activities uh, they could choose so from the last year we've not been given juniors a full topic because we found that it becomes very challenging for the 8 and 9 year olds so what we started doing from last year is giving them three activities that they get to uh, view and they have to make variations of any one of those three activities and as you saw the process this year was then to of course to submit the Uh, photographs and a video and so on and then the judges see them for 5 or 8 minutes and then it's a, it's a long day right so all the entries again very good we congratulate the finalists all the time we congratulate all the participants for uh, you know taking the effort to make these entries every year and making the raman awards more and more of a uh, national success reaching all corners of the country and it's only a success if more and more people participate right so spread the word let people know and we are happy to have 105 of you today with us uh, at this uh, at the awards for 2020 uh, the, the two runners up the first one goes to madhura ss is she here thanks a lot i really enjoyed today's raman award making the science star can you tell us what you made because i have not i don't have the names of the activities with me i was just given the results by the judges so if you can just briefly give which of the three I that you made of the experiment but i can explain the science behind it no no just tell us what you made <laughs> uh i actually took different kinds of paper and dipped it in water and drew ink across it so i wanted to see that which kind of paper absorbs the water and spread the ink all around so that is a capillary action and uh, the chromatography chromatography is actually spreading the ink across the paper and separating it while the capillary action is transporting the water to all parts of the paper great excellent so you did a variation of the chroma chromatography experiment and had fun with ink and dipping it in paper and so on And Congratulations. I really had good the videos. I enjoyed uh, doing them. Though actually I had tried many but many didn't work. But yet I enjoyed watching the videos. And I had also been a part of Intac for some days. Congratulations yes. and thank you. Yeah, good to have inspired children like you around us. It makes our work yes. much easier and more enjoyable as well. The second runner up 
uh, is Michelle Rose George. Michelle, are you here? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's utterly unbelievable. Because first, when they were first checking for the finalists, I, I wasn't there. And then they, the next time they did, I was there. It was utterly unbelievable that I was uh, like even there as a finalist. And now like being a runner up, that's like uh, unbelievable. Thank you so much. Congratulations. What did you make? So I used the first experiment they showed us. They showed us a shower bottle. So I did first one like how they did. And then I made another one. What I did was instead of using water that is colored, I used that for the first one. Then for the second one, I used vinegar, turmeric, and baking soda and tried to see if like without making a hole in the cap or having to open the cap, if it could like by itself uh, like look like a shower to function like how the first one did when I opened it or uh, made a hole in the cap. So, and it worked and it worked. It was successful. Great, great. That's like a good innovation of a couple of experiments, uh, maybe taking from the intermediate, which we'll talk about soon, which was kitchen chemistry, uh, taking some of their ideas to make the vinegar model as well with this. Thanks a lot, Michelle, and we hope to see you in subsequent years as well. The overall winner for the junior category is Ms. Nishika Shah. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. This is my first time in Raman Awards. Yeah, if you're a junior, it's most likely you have only two chances, right? Third and fourth standard. That's great. What did you make, Nishika? So I made, it, I made the chromatography. Like, I used oil, vinegar, normal water. I used some sanitizer and I used water with, with blue food coloring in it. Very nice. So you kept changing the, uh, the, the, the liquid that moves up, right? Through the, through the paper or through the tissue to spread the, to separate the colors or not. Maybe some of them don't as well, right? You may have discovered that while doing this. Great. Excellent, Nishika. And uh, as always, we hope to see you for many subsequent years on the award, right? Yes. I hope so too. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so that's with the junior awardees. With the intermediate, it was again a very close, uh, close uh, contest with a lot of people getting pretty high scores from the judges. The toughest was, of course, the room that had three judges. And so one of the runners up uh, is from that room. Uh, so the first runner up there, Tilak Bhimrajka. The other runner-up from the intermediate category, Divyant Praveen Kumar. Thank you very much. What was your model today? Yeah, eco-friendly firecracker. Okay. You want to say anything more about it? It actually uses a chem chemical reaction with rain cleaner, aluminum, and water to produce hydrogen and to like create like a popping sound. And a small fire. Right. Okay, great. Congratulations. Thank you. And the overall winner for the intermediate category is Miss San Sankamitra K. Is she here? You're the intermediate winner for RYSI 2020. Thank you, sir. Can we see your face? <laughs> yes, sir. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you, sir. What did you make? Sir, I made neutralization reaction between uh, vinegar and baking soda, sir. Okay. And where have you, uh, where are you based in, in India? Tamil Nadu, sir. Okay. Name of school and city? Uh, Velamal Bodhi Campus, Kolapakkam, Chennai. Okay. Congratulations. A lot of, I think, children from your school participated this year. Yes, Velama well, School was had many participants. I'm sure you've made them proud today. Congratulations. Thank you. So moving on to the last three of the day of the senior category. In the senior category, 
the first runner up adi amartya shankar yeah, hello Go yes ahead. we can hear you uh, hi hi congratulations thank you what did you make um i made a sound sandwich which was like um, it was a device to like show the different uh, like you could change the pitch and stuff like um, it it was on the basically the principle it followed was that uh, uh, that if if there's a long piece of rubber or any material if there's a longer piece of material then it means that um, the frequency the pitch will be uh, smaller and uh, i mean less and uh, if the pitch is uh, more then it means that the uh, piece of material is shorter mm -hmm. wonderful so you made that actually made connection between yeah, i actually made three experiments, yeah, made three experiments but then like uh, i had to you choose, had to choose one, one. Yeah. yeah yeah good i guess you made the correct choice and uh, congratulations and we Thank hope you. to see you uh, in subsequent years where are you based are you uh, i live in bangalore in whitefield okay. yeah okay okay congratulations thank you the next runner up for the senior category j kakkar thanks a lot is all i can say i would like to thank my principal dr jyoti bose who's been inspiring and and it was a great learning experience of course see, seeing all the experiments and and i'm just happy for team uh, and i'm just happy for uh, team think tank to uh, take this initiative to hold this program online <laughs> what you. did you make jay uh, so i made uh, so i made a working model of of the outer and the inner ear so mm -hmm. uh, so this balloon it, it depicts the uh, eardrum and these three cardboard pieces are the staples uh, markers uh, sorry uh, the um, I, i'm i'm forgetting the name those three yeah those three minute bones in our ears the staples <laughs> the mal uh, yeah. malus and the uh, incus and yeah. and this is our outer ear and this is the auditory canal okay wonderful and jay of course you've been with us here in bangalore before for the finals so you know the difference between the two types of uh, final so congratulations and we hope to see you obviously in the next uh, next few years i guess couple of editions at least right and the overall winner for the senior category and the last one for the day is uh, vinayak prabhu k it feels great like I, the I, this is my third time participating as i said before so last two times i got runner up it was a, i always try to get first place and this is the last year i can participate because i am in 10th grade so being able to get first place after so many tries feels great congratulations it's good to see you so happy uh, thank you the first first place is great to get and uh, but just participating every year i think that's where the joy should come through the thrill of doing that and yeah. uh, being part of a hands on science uh, contest like this as well as in general uh, making things with your hands and playing around with materials to have fun even in something that's usually considered so academic and turns off a lot of people at a young age it's very inspiring to find uh, you know 105 of you who've participated today uh, obviously uh, love science and have innovated some great things over the year to be here today as well as doing a pretty tough innovation test today with all kinds of camera restrictions and proctoring and so on so congratulations to all nine of you congratulations to the remaining 95 or 96 of you who are here with us today for the finals uh, as well as the thousands of others across the country who participated this year and made also very good entries uh, so we are you know very pleased that we could conduct this contest uh, over the course of this year as i said it's possible because of support from the raman research institute trust who gives us a moral support every year as well as uh, using uh, you know the raman research institute trust property as well as 
you know, our logo has the RRI logo in embedded in the Raman Awards logo and so on. So thanks for all your support and continued, uh, uh, you know, I keep saying support. So continued uh, help to us to, to reach out to as many children as possible. I'd also like to, uh, people may be hearing the word ISPF and ThinkTAC interchangeably. ThinkTAC is a, is a social enterprise that was founded three and a half years ago by the same team that, uh, uh, that uh, are the trustees of, the, uh, of ISPF, Innovation and Science Promotion Foundation, which constituted the, Rama, uh, the Raman Awards with RRI Trust, right? So ThinkTAC is a, uh, usually supports all the materials uh, as well as uh, sometimes sponsors kids to come here and so on to participate in the awards and they continue to provide all the uh, material help you saw all the videos this morning and so on were all created by our video team here in Bangalore so a special mention to to everyone there uh, there's always questions on what we'll do next year. I think we can probably hopefully say that we will meet face to face next year. Uh, the last Sunday of November is usually what's penned down as the finals day. The submissions will start uh, perhaps, uh, we usually say December, but I think uh, usually it takes us a few weeks to send out the certificates. There'll be more mailing stuff that happens this year and so on. So, uh, at least by January, we should be able to open the portal for you to start making your entries again next year and we'll announce the dates and so on. We'll, as usual, have two to three preliminaries and we are thinking of changing how we do the uh, experiential science teacher award, the rest award where we'll try to do some more with community development and how teachers can interact in their local communities to encourage science and so on. So all these announcements will be forthcoming. Uh, I probably don't have any more to say here today. I'll defer to anyone else uh, from my team if I've missed out on something. Are uh, Vibhor or Ravi here, or has been has there been any message from anyone, Ashwin? Miss Kamini Pundir is here, one of our okay. runners up. So shall I put her? Sure, sure. Yeah, ma'am, can you unmute yourself? Kamini, ma'am. Yes. Amini, we gave you the runners up award for the uh, for your Good evening, wonderful everyone. Yeah. Actually, sir, for your motor car. Issue. Yes, sir. So it, it was a thermo car and uh, it was based on the principle of thermodynamics. And um, I really love physics. I love physics since I, I, I was a child. And I did BTEC because um, B, uh, engineering is has a base of physics. Also, I'm a tinkering facilitator, which has uh, physics as base. So I love physics and I loved making this project. I would like to thank Raman uh, team to give us opportunity to project our ideas and implement them to the uh, hands-on models. Thank you so much. And I'm really uh, sorry, I apologize because my, I had network issues and I was not able to join the meeting. Sorry for that. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you, sir. Meena ma'am is also here. Meena Dioraka. So we'll add her as well. Yeah, she can. I think uh, yeah. was there. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, very glad to uh, be on this platform. Actually, I am in the PTM. Uh, parent teacher meeting is on for standard nine from six to nine. So right now, the CS commerce student is going on. So now I have switched on to this meeting at the same time. I am really thrilled when I came to know about the Raman Awards actually from my principal madam, that is uh, Mrs. Uh, Pratibha Prabhu. And I am from Mumbai, IES Orion. We are ICC school. We have uh, three schools. One is in Dada, one is in uh, Bandra, and one is coming up in Washi. Now, first year when I participated, I didn't know anything about it. Then, then I started researching and I saw that this platform is really very good. I motivated students in the school also. So then what happened? Uh, first year when I participated, uh, I had, uh, I think, uh, done a greeting card by using a simple, uh, you know, the, this acid base indicators, that is, uh, which are found in kitchen. So I got, a, I think, second prize, that is second position nationwide in chemistry. And uh, I was so thrilled after that. And then I started participating in second year. 
second year i got the certificate of merit again for by another uh, experiment that is corner uh, reflectors and now this is my third year and i have been you know and this is during the lockdown period was very tough to uh, participate into your uh, yeah i'm sorry about that but then this is also very uh, a very nice platform for school children also but what i found in uh, some children are finding it little difficult to upload it onto youtube but after this lockdown after they have taken the entire training now everybody is on teams everybody is on every type of a platform webex so now i think they will participate and they will do a good job <laughs> thank you so much for this platform i really enjoy every year i'll be participating on and on i'll try to you know please, uh, be please. active We're on always this happy to and one more thing i wanted to suggest sir my school wanted the think tank uh, uh but then what happened you are not providing for the small number of children suppose if you give us for 100 children <laughs> then school will get interested and school will put order for 300 children also later so i feel so that i want to suggest that. that if you can do this start for the 50 100 children because i had a talk with them and they said that they are providing for some particular number and that was not going with my principal madam so i feel that if you can provide for 50 children first then a uh, 100 sure, children sure. also they will be interested children are interested in this of course so getting all teaching aids for uh, chapter wise and i have a catalog where amazing teaching aids are there by think tank amazing okay. thank you so much sir Excellent. thank you glad to yeah, be a part we'll of keep, it we'll keep keep my uh, keep your words in mind when we talk to you again and your school as well uh thanks to all the participants parents for being so patient and uh, i know there's a lot of anxiety and maybe uh, lots of uh, you know heart stopping moments maybe during today's submission as well, have i got the email not got email so on but this whole online thing i think went off okay we've ended up being 1 hour late overall over the course of the day which is uh, not too bad uh, all said and done and uh, thanks to all participants of the children thanks to all teacher participants over the course of the year as well for the rest awards thanks to uh, all the ispf and think tech staff who've worked endlessly to get this happen online uh, it's been a it's been a massive challenge there's been more communication there's been uh, less physical work in terms of organizing the structure and the food and all that that we give every year but there's definitely been more stuff happening at the back end and it's all happening remotely people working in their houses right so uh, thanks so much uh, especially ashwin and sumanth who managed the zoom calls today uh, well i won't say single handedly because it was two of them but pretty much uh, single handedly uh, so the two of them have done a great job admitting people making keeping their calm getting them into the rooms all the proctors and the cohort in charges who did a fantastic job in Uh, managing the so the time be kind and by time to everyone and making sure that kids got their submissions done eventually i think all the ones who participated got their submissions in and valid videos and everything so that was a amazing task if if i have to talk about it so thanks to all of you and of course our eminent panel of uh, judges who come from the science education teaching and uh, uh, backgrounds as well as they've all obviously uh, done some science in their studies but their careers have taken them in different ways we've had raghu this year from oup as well so it's great to have people who are actually involved in creating curriculum and textbooks also be here as part of that team uh, so thanks to all of you and uh, i think we'll end here okay Goodbye and good night, and do keep in touch.